What happened while we were away brought to you by another weekend in America. This is the image we're projecting to China and Russia. We'll begin with this photo tweeted out by Assistant Secretary for Health, the artist formerly known as Richard Levine, standing next to White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre, captioned, quote, When the first openly gay press secretary and the first openly trans HHS Assistant Secretary for Health and four-star admiral meet at the White House during hashtag pride, proud to be part of an administration where everyone can see themselves reflected in leadership, we've come so far, here's to shattering more ceilings. As inflation and gas prices continue to soar, Joe Biden thought once again this weekend would be a good time for a bike ride at a beach in Delaware. He thought wrong. So yeah, that's the image we're projecting to China and Russia, but as Oran McIntyre correctly pointed out, China ain't the problem. Moving on, Fox News is reporting from the border that at least 50 people on the FBI's terror watch list have been arrested by Border Patrol at the southern border this year alone. You get the picture there. Take a look at the trend. These last couple of years, the number of these TSDB arrests have exploded. There have been 65 already these last couple of years. The previous four years combined before that, there were only 11. A production team for The Late Show with Stephen Colbert was caught late last week attempting to stage a violent insurrection at our nation's capital. The crew was arrested after hours in the Longworth House office building on Capitol Hill Thursday night. The individuals were charged with unlawful entry for their brazen attack on our democracy. Am I doing this right? New Ministry of Truth just dropped. The White House just announced a new online task force to address so-called harassment and abuse. This task force will address the pervasive problem of online harassment and abuse, which disproportionately targets women, girls, and LGBTQI plus people. That's Jennifer Klein, the director of the White House Gender Policy Council, who's going to be deciding what is and isn't harassment for this newly rebranded Ministry of Truth. Nancy Pelosi thinks we're still in a war in Iraq. Like, look, we have a war in Iraq. We have COVID, which has... Um, um, at the Texas State GOP convention, Blaze TV contributor Alex Stein confronted Senator Ted Cruz over his support of sending tens of billions of dollars to Ukraine, among other things. You know, I'm sure you think you're really smart. Oh, really I am bright. smart. Yeah, because you're a globalist. You do more for Ukraine <laughs> than you do for America. You know that. Remember how Trump made you fun know, of your wife you and know, then you God, go become God, best God, friends God with Trump? You. I know, but why do you do that? You go become best friends with Trump after he makes fun of you and your wife. Why do you do that? I, I understand you don't want it's to defend you're Texas. A coward. And you don't want no, to see, I do love America. See, you don't. You care more about the border between uh, Ukraine and Russia than you care about the border between Texas and Mexico. Why is that? Why do you care about that? I know, but why are you a globalist? You're a globalist, but you know Hey, Ted. hey, Teddy, you're We're a globalist. Done. We're done. You're, you're a globalist, Ted. You know that, bud. And that's why you're a coward and a liar. And you know that, and I know that. And that's why you're afraid to stand up for it. When Sir. people were freezing and dying, you were in Cancun, Sir. Mexico. You remember that? You remember when you're at the all-inclusive buffet while people were freezing? Go away. No, but do you remember that, Ted, when everybody was freezing? No. Remember on. that when people were dying? What were you doing? No, no, no. Like, yeah, I got you. Listen, I'm allowed to talk to the guy. Hey, I'm, 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 I'm allowed to talk here, to him. They don't want I'm a delegate. Delegate. They want to leave. Also at the Texas GOB convention, Senator John Cornyn was booed as he walked off the stage after a speech. The convention ended up passing a resolution condemning Cornyn and other Republican senators over their support of a potential bill that would encourage states to enact red flag laws for gun owners. Donald Trump, meanwhile, visited the Faith and Freedom Conference in Nashville. It was Americans of faith who founded this country. It was Americans of faith who built this country. It was Americans of faith who are going to save this country. And finally, spelling bees in the year 2022. Lincoln, your word is woman. Woman, can I have the country of origin, please? I, I don't, I don't, it, it, probably England or Germany or something. Woman. Um, can I have the definition, please? Uh, why don't you ask Judge One that question? Can I have the definition of woman, please? No. Why not? I'm allowed to ask for definitions, right? The... The thing is, a woman is the there. The a woman is is is. Yeah, what, a she's, woman. what she's trying to say is that each 
person gets to define f for themselves what a, a woman is. So can you do define it? No. Why? I just want to know the definition of woman. And that makes you a hateful little bigot, Lincoln. That's the Babylon Bee, and that's what happened while we were away.